how to clean a glassware. This is all things you need. First, hot water. Second, wiping cloth or towel. Third, is goblet. Fourth, highball. And fifth, coffee cup. First, dinner plate. Second, baby plate. And third, saucer. That's all that we need. And let's start. Hold the water goblet at the base. Use wiping cloth to hold the glass. Put it on the bottom of chuck by hold the glass. Make sure wiping cloth cover whole space during hold it. And start polishing the glass. Don't leave thumbprints at the surface of glass. After done, put the glass at side. Next, we use the same step for high wall. Remember, do the polish to do clockwise. Next is clean the coffee cup. Pour hot water into the coffee cup, then shake it slowly and pour it back into the jar. And start polishing as usual. Pour hot water into the dinner plate surface. Take the wiping cloth to hold the plate. Then pour back the hot water into the jug. Use the other side of wiping cloth and start to wipe the plate. Wipe the surface of the plate. And make sure your finger don't touch the surface of the plate. Next, we use the same step to wipe BB plate. And here we are, we are done. That's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Hazali Najihah binti Muhammad Sabri. Today, I would like to show you guys about a demonstration of cleaning glassware, crockery and cutlery. So stay tuned. First of all, take the goblet by using left hand and point it at the top. 
top surface of the container that contains hot water. Wait until the goblet is filled with steam and wipe with the right hand using a clean towel. Do the same steps for other glassware such as highball, collins, cocktail and rocks glass. And then, wipe the crockery which is side plate using the same steam technique. Finally, wipe the cutlery such as soup spoon, spoon, fork and appetizer knife using the same steam technique until clean. That's all from me. Thank Hello you. madam, my name is Hema Priya Silvam with metric number H190146. Today, I'm going to talk about what is napkin foldings and the four types of foldings. So what is napkin folding? Napkin folding is usually considered only when setting a formal table or for a fancy party. Napkins serve both practical and also purpose and also decorative. So a napkin can protect your clothing from spills and also collect crumbs. It can also wipe up your skin. So the first napkin I'm going to talk about is pyramid napkin foldings. This classic napkin foldings technique is simple, fast and can be made easily with most napkins. If the napkin is being used in thin and flop easily then iron it with light scratch to folding and it will turn out perfect. The second folding is oriental fan. The fan napkin fold is very effective with stretch cotton or linen napkins. The fan napkins fold in suitable for almost any event. Add a little bit of class and also decoration or table setting. So the third folding is the rose napkin folding. It's a type of napkin fold. This fold is simple and can be done with practically any type of napkin. Display modest bowls or glasses on top or use as unicocked napkins. Or making a rose out of a cloth napkin is a simple way to improve the table adornments for dinner party or any other special occasion is candle. This candle may be constructed for a napkin but that doesn't mean it won't shine. Creating this elegant look is as easy as folding a square napkin into a triangle and rolling it up. You can stand the finished liner on its own but we also can use the idea of placing it in the water glass so that you know it won't fall over and you can create a loser. Assalamu alaikum and hi, my name is Farhanis Binti Mohamed Fauzi. My metric number is H19A0955. In this video, I would like to share to you on how to make a napkin folding. I am choosing two types of napkin folding which is the pyramid and also the oriental fan. The first napkin style is the pyramid. For the pyramid napkin style, get a napkin and place the napkin with the edge is placing towards our body. Take the top edge downwards to the bottom corner and take the top right corner into the bottom of the center. Tidy the folds and make the same step for the left side. Flip backwards and fold it into half. After that, flip backwards again and fold into half for the second time. Finally, tidy up the folds and stand it up to the right place. This is how the pyramid napkin style looks when we place it on the top of the dinner plate. For the oriental fan napkin style, we need a napkin and place it neatly on the table. Pull the bottom side of the napkin upwards and fold it into half. Turn the napkin and start it to make a few repeated folds until it becomes a layer. Flip backwards and fold it into half. And then pull the excess edge into the holes. Finally, expand it and place it vertically. This is the final looks of the oriental fan napkin style on the dinner plate. I need to show you all how to decorate a napkin. So, I have two types of napkin to show you all. First is a rose full and second is candy full. So, let's go! Rose full Firstly, spread the napkin and fold in into triangle. Second, roll the napkin from button to top up to a quarter. 
Thirdly, roll from right to left and tidy up neatly. Fourth, access napkin at the top, open to the right and to the left. Fifth, invert the napkin. Lastly, trim the folds on the napkin. So, tada! Candy fold. First, spread the napkin and fold in into triangle. Second, roll the napkin from button to top up to a quarter. Third, roll from right to left and tidy up neatly. Lastly, trim the fold on the napkin. Ta-da!